thank you we bless you we give you all the praise we thank you for another morning we thank you for a new month we bless your name in jesus name once again i bring you greetings from god the father the son and of the holy spirit it's our prayer that every gathering the spirit of god will go before us the bible says, as many that are led by the spirit of god they are the children of god and so in our generation one of the important things that every human being needs is the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ said when he met the woman at the well in John 4, he said the day is coming and now is the time that the true worshippers must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And so in spirit, it's through the Holy Spirit. In truth, it's through Jesus Christ. John said the Lord was given by Moses, but through and grace came to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. And so without Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, child of God, you can do nothing. Life is all about Jesus Christ. His death and his resurrection. His birth and his second coming. Whether you like it or not, Jesus will come. The Bible says, "For it seems that all things are paid by blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. 
Jesus Christ came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth in him will never perish but have everlasting life. There is no life anywhere. Peter stood on that day, fateful day before the Sahendrians and the, uh, the, uh, the Pharisees, and also uh, the synagogue, the leaders, the chief priests, and told them. There is no name on earth or in heaven given unto man to be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he humbled himself and was given a name. At the mention of that name, demons bow. Do you know that the only name that people get angry, it cause confusion in the demonic world, is the name of Jesus Christ. But the same name is the name that brings peace and direction unto man. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into and they are safe. There is no name like Jesus. Somebody sang a song and says, oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Jesus loved you. The Bible says, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the children of God. Yes, we are. We don't know what we will be. But one thing we know, that when he appears, we will be like him. It is our prayer. That every day, every day that God gives to us will be a day of new relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Life is all about Jesus Christ. Because whether you believe it or not, he will come. Whether you believe it or he, he will come. And this is our prayer. Knowing Jesus and walking with Jesus and conquering Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. And may the Lord guide you. He calls his face to shine upon you and give you peace in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. May the peace of God that passes every understanding guide your heart, your mind in Christ Jesus. It is our prayer that every word will come to pass. I started ministering a message that I have titled Beware. Jesus said, Beware. Beware, beware. Uh, literally, it means when it, we look at the King James definition, it literally means to restrain or guide oneself from. You have to guide yourself. You have to restrain yourself from. Hence, to regard with caution and to restrain oneself from anything that may be dangerous, injurious, improper, to avoid and to take care. And so Jesus Christ in the Bible told us some of the things to be well, to be be careful of. There are many people, many Christians that they 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 forget themselves. Let me use that word. And some of them they know, but they overlook. Some of them they have seen the, the wrong things, but they still continue to do it. My brother, my sister, every day gives us a new opportunity. Jesus gave us every time an opportunity. But ask yourself. Will that opportunity continue to come every day? <laughs> One day, there is a saying. It says that every day is for deep, one day for a My prayer is that you restrain yourself from some of the things that Jesus said. One of the things that Jesus said that I started talking about is false prophets. False prophets. Let's understand that without the realm. There is no counterfeit. Without the realm. And so there are true prophets. When you go to Ghana, there are true prophets. Men whom the Lord has <laughs> placed his spirit and who declare the wisdom, the knowledge and everything about God. Men who have the, the gift of prophecy and divine inspiration, they speak for God. Who makes claims for God. And so there are there are good prophets and I bless God for their lives. We pray for them that God will continue to use them. But here also Jesus said, beware of these false prophets. And he told us about some of the things to be cautioned of. Some of the things that we should have to look. And this is our prayer today that we will continue that it will be a blessing unto you for you to guide yourself. Beware, beware, 
Jesus Christ said, let's turn our Bibles to Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7. And I'll read from verse 15, verse 13 and 14. Jesus encouraged us and treated us to enter into the narrow way. A way, and the narrow way represents Jesus himself. And many people don't understand. When you look to the world in our generation now, there are many, many noise. Many people talking about Jesus criticizing and talking about churches are going down. The church is dying everywhere. And, and many people are happy. Anything about the church, any destruction, people are happy. You see, the number of people that will be sharing it Everything about the church, every disgrace about the church. You see how people will be sharing it. But the good news about the church, nobody wants to share. Because the devil don't want the news to go anywhere. But believe you me, the, the, the message of the cross is not carried by anybody. It is carried by the Holy Ghost himself, the Spirit of God. And so Jesus said, when he woke or he rose from death, he said, authority in heaven on earth has been given unto me. Go in my name. And so he, he commanded us to go. And said that this gospel will be preached to the end of this world. Until he comes, before he comes. And so whether you like it or not. Hey, Jesus Christ, God has men and women who are preaching. They are preaching the gospel. Not every preacher. Not every prophet is fault. Not everyone has come into the ministry. It for, for, for gains. Some of us, we have come as we have been called. Billy Graham always sing the song, Just as I am without one plague, but by the blood was shed for me. And thou bid me to come, come to thee, O Lamb of God. I have come. We come as we are to receive and to minister unto the Lord. Beware, be careful. A child of God, be careful. That is all, Jesus. Be careful and watch them. Verse 15, he says that beware of false prophets. Beware of them. And which comes to you in sheep's clothes, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And so, the first thing is that we have to be careful. Watch them, look at them very carefully. And look at how they act. How the, the things that they wear, the things that they put on. The things that they put on. That they have a form of godliness. A form of godliness. Let me go and read Second Timothy. Second Timothy. And I read Second Timothy. I read verse 3. One going. The Bible said, This know also. And so he was telling us to know this. That in the last days, perennial and difficult times will come. This is the days of difficult times that you see that everybody that the word of God is true. He said, For men shall be lovers of themselves, lovers of themselves. And this is one of the things that the Bible was saying. He said that <laughs> lovers of themselves, boasters, covetous, covetous, <coughs> blasphemous, proud, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Trace breakers, false accusers, innocent, incontent, despair of those that are good, traitors, hardy, high minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. Men love pleasure. And this is true. It is true. Lovers of pleasure, more than God. And the same thing we see turning churches into clubs, turning, turning churches into monks, turning churches. My prayer for you, a child of God, everywhere that you are listening to us, that God through His Spirit, God through His Spirit, will open your eyes and your understanding to understand in the name of Jesus. Verse 5 is having a form of godliness. They have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof for such turn away from them. The Bible is saying that there are men who have the form of godliness. But one of the things that you have to do is to turn away from them. 
He says that, turn away. Don't go to them. And so if you see that they have a form of godliness, you get closer to them. And you see that they talk as Christ. <laughs> they, they walk. But their way of life is different. Their intention in ministry is different. My brother, my sister, child of God, refrain from them. There are many of them, their way of life. You see, you go to church. You go to church and you realize that every practice of the church is like going to the shrine, going to the, the fetish priest. If the, the, the man of God who, who is mentioning the name of Jesus Christ take you to a riverside to go and offer a sacrifice, if they begin to tell you, go and buy some things, and go outside and perform it. Realize that. Realize the kind of spirit that they have. Jesus Christ told us to beware. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. He says that some will pervert the gospel. They pervert the gospel. First John chapter 1 verse 7b. He says the blood of Jesus Christ, God his son, cleans us from all sins. And so we know that the Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And so the blood of Jesus is neither, says the blood is neither incidental nor accidental. The blood is not incidental or accidental. A false prophet will not offer, uh, will offer another way. Works no grace. Works no grace. And those who perfect the gospel are false prophets. They are false prophets. Those who use that gospel for their own means, there are most of them, they were called, they were rightly called. But Jesus said, no one can serve two masters. No one can serve two masters. You cannot serve mammon and you cannot serve God. You cannot serve mammon and serve God. Either you please one, or, or either you please one, and the other you deny. It is my prayer that somebody that is listening to us, my prayer is that my brother, my sister, you'll be able to, as you have come to God, walk with him, serve him, live for, for Jesus Christ, and you'll never have any regret for your soul. you never have any regret for your soul. <laughs> when you look into the Bible, like the prophet Balaam, like the prophet Balaam, Balaam, was a prophet, was not a, but was not a prophet of God. Somebody will say, why? He always go, go to God to inquire. He, yes, he has the spirit of God. But the Bible says, the word of God came to him several times. What he wanted to do, not to do. But he decided to do it. Let's go to Numbers chapter 22. Numbers chapter 22. And see how the devil was forcing to use, use him, a prophet, somebody who was a prophet. Balak realized the Bible said, and the children of Israel set forth and perched in the plains of Moab on the other side of Jordan by Jericho. Again, understand there are good prophets, there are good ones. That, is a, that have been called by God and doing the work of God. But let me be honest to you. Most of them are not heard because the devil don't want them, their presence to be announced. The, the, the devil don't want. But they that have, are, are working for him, he continue to, 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 to let everybody know. And my prayer is that you be careful and watch them. The children of God set forth and paid their tent. The place of Moab, on the side of Jer the, by Jericho, they have crossed. Immediately, Balak saw all the Israelites. What did they have done to the Amorites? The Bible said they were so afraid. So afraid. They were very afraid. And <laughs> Moab, the, Barak, the people, he said they were so afraid. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall uh, this company leak up all that are around about us as ox leaks up the grass of the field and Balak the son of Zopah was king of the Moabites as at that time and he sent messengers therefore unto Balaam the son of Baal which is by the river of the land of the children of his people to call him saying behold there are 
people come out of Egypt, behold, they cover the face of the earth and they abide over against me. Over against me. My brother, my sister, let me be honest to you. One of the th things to identify false prophets, if somebody goes there, if they, you go to them for them to destroy somebody, to destroy, God is not after destroying a soul. God in our generation, in his this time, is after uh, as winning a soul, repentance of a soul. Repentance. That is why he said, Go and preach. Tell them the kingdom of God is near. And so if a prophet decides to go and get somebody for a person to die, look at him very carefully. If you are able to fly, fly away from him, flee from him, because he's leading you the wrong way. My prayer for you as child of God, somebody that is listening to me, to know, beware, be careful of them. Be careful of these false prophets. It is my prayer that you serve God and serve him faithfully. It is my prayer that you worship God and worship him faithfully. Do what God has called you to do. And as a child of God, don't sit down and fold your hands. The sad aspect of Christianity and many that have come to Christendom forgive me Africans is that when we come to Christ when we become Christians we think that immediately you become Christian uh, the whole world should be given to you and so we sit down and fold our hands go and read Proverbs 6 Proverbs 6 will tell you go to the end let me go and read Proverbs 6 Proverbs 6 and I'll read verse 6 going down verse 6 going down he said go to the ant that's sluggish consider his ways and be wise go to the ant he said which have no uh, guide overseer or ruler provide her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest how long will thou sleep O sluggish when will thy arise out of thy sleep yet a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as, as, as one that travail and thy wants as an armed man. And so, if you are a Christian, you have to stand up and do the, 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 the commandment. I always say that the law of life is for every soul to work and make a gains. Sad aspect of African Christianity that we have taken the gospel and instead of doing the right thing we have we we, we 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 take the gospel and begin to walk in a different direction my prayer is that you know know them balaam was the same thing god told balaam the bible said when balak called balaam men about he sent the first man to go tell him to come Come and curse these people. He said, Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me, these people, for they are too mighty for me. Paraventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, that I may drive them out of the land. For I would that he whom thou blesses is blessed, and he whom thou curses is cursed. My brother, my sister, child of God, Jesus said, Beware. We have to beware. There are many scriptures that he told us to beware. Some of the things that he told Christians, he told the church to be careful of. Told the church to be careful of. And this is my prayer. That you also will be careful as a child of God. Pray and let allow the spirit of God to lead you so that you be at the right place. Being at the right place is first victory. When we were in school, I remember one of our professors, he told us every day, before the class, what, what he would tell us to remember, always remember, for every question, understanding the question is 50% uh, of, of a mark. It's 50%. It mean, in the moment you understand the question, then you know what to write. And so, by understanding, you have already gotten a 50% mark. The letter you write will bring a little more marks onto you. And so, my prayer is that you will understand. I every day tell you, the Bible nowhere tells us the lack of prayer, lack of reading. It's a lack of knowledge. Knowing and understanding, having a fact about the kingdom of God. Many are perishing. 
Balak wanted to cast them. Cast them for me. Destroy them for me. The Bible says, beware of them. They come in sheep clothes. But within them, they are wolves. They are wolves. They are wolves. And they carry bad messages. My prayer is that you know them and refrain from them. You refrain from them. Refrain from them. Let's go and look at at First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4. And we'll read from verse 1. First John chapter 4. And we'll read. The Bible said, Believe, beloved. He said, Beloved. Believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. And so Jesus Christ was telling us not to believe all spirit. Believe not all spirit. And he said, the first thing that he said that, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ is, is he says, every spirit that confesses that Jesus is come in the flesh is of God. And so the first thing that the Bible is saying that every Christian, every child of God, should have, one of the things that you have to have, to have a spirit of discernment, to discern the spirit. You have to be able to discern whether this spirit is of God or is not of God. Every Christian is commanded to be discerning about what they are receiving is true. You have to discern. Not just pastors, teachers, or school professors, but every Christian. Every Christian. Every Christian. I told you yesterday that I was reading about the profession that is most trusted. Most trusted. And the profession that was put high was a pastor. Pastors are trusted more because people know that they are doing the work of God. But so sad that most of them, most of them, most of them, it is my prayer that you find a few ones who are working for God and who are doing the will of God. Yesterday, I was reading and the writer wrote that there are, there are few who are working with God. There are many who are working for God. Those who are working with God, they are very few. They are very, very few. They are working with God because they are very few. And that is what the Bible says. Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord. Because there are those, the, those who are working for God, they are many. All they, they come to do is to use the name of God anyhow to prevent people and to, to deceive people. And to, to, to make gains. Do you remember that Jesus went to the temple? And the, when he got there, the temple, instead of using for prayer, instead of using for winning souls, instead of using as a place to proclaim the gospel, Jesus went there. And the Bible says they were doing buying and selling. All the men were doing were buying and selling. They were buying and selling. My prayer that somebody will understand, a child of God. You understand? This is my prayer. That not every spirit that says, Lord, Lord, is of God. Not every spirit. Test them. You have to test them. It is a command. Not a suggestion. It's, it is important. Because you have to know what are the news that they are giving is good or bad. You have to know. You have to know. You have to know what whatever they are saying is good and where it is leading you. The messages are very important. My prayer is that you know. As of the apostle, uh, sorry, Second Peter two. Let me go and read Second Peter two and the verse two. And you see, he said there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring destruction and heresies. Second Peter two. Let's, let's hear the word of God. I thank God for the word of God. It's my prayer that somebody, somebody will understand. We are talking about false prophets. Jesus Christ said we should be aware. Not everyone that take the Bible and begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Not all of them are from God. Some of them, they are working for the devil. 
And the Bible says by their fruit. I am going to talk lengthy about the fruits. The signs of a false prophet. The things that they do. Some of the things that they do. My prayer is that you will know them. And begin to refrain from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Refrain from them in the name of Jesus Christ. That is my prayer for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Second Peter 2 and verse 2 said, But there were false prophets among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, who prevailing shall bring in demonable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves a swift destruction. And so the Bible said there will be there will be false, there were there were false prophets among them. And they said that they are going to be false in us. And they will bring heresies, swift destruction. And many shall follow their precarious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil and spoken of. God is a God who knows. And so he, he spoke from the beginning to the end. He revealed what was going to happen in this end time and told us that many will follow them. Many will follow them. You go into their churches because that is all men are looking. Tell me something. It's my prayer that you locate and find the right ones. Not the one that the enemy will use them to destroy your life, to destroy your destiny, and to destroy your future. Jesus said we have to be aware of them. The message is the, uh, the, the preach. He says, and through covetousness shall they with French words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingers not, and, and their denomination slammers not. And so Jesus was saying that that they will find every means to pervert the way of truth and to make merchandise of you. Watch the messages. My brother, my sister, a false message is also always wrong. Wrong about one thing. Jesus, a home mission, is always wrong. Do they have a different Bible? That is the question somebody asks. Do they have a different Jesus? And this is the problem. They have the same Bible that we have. They hold the same. They have the same Jesus Christ. But they are not ready. They are not ready. They are not ready. They are not ready. My prayer for you, that somebody that is listening to us, that you know them and run away from them. And somebody will, will be angry. He says, oh, I know I am the right place. My prayer is that the same Jesus said, we should test all spirits. Test. Pray that God will give you a spirit of discernment. Because some of them have familiar spirits. They mention the name of Jesus. They do everything. And if you don't take care, you think that you are the right place. Except God. My prayer is that somebody will know the true way and run away in the name of Jesus. And Jesus said we ask to beware. Beware. Beware of them. And run away from them. Just beware. And run away. The second thing that Jesus told us is that beware the fruit they bear. The fruit, the fruit. Some of the fruit and this is my prayer for you, a child of God. The fruit, the fruit. Let me go and read Matthew. I'll read you Matthew chapter 7. And I'll read from verse 16 down to 19. 16. And let's hear. He says that you shall know them by their fruit. You shall know them by their fruit. What kind? Meaning that you shall know them by their works. The works they do. The works they do. If, 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 if a prophet who has been called by God, find him destroying and destroying him, fighting and insulting everywhere. My brother, my sister, nobody has to tell you to be careful and run away from them. Run away from them. Jesus said by their fruit. Jesus said by their fruit. He said, you shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or fig trees of, of thistles? You don't go and gather grapes and gather thorns. You don't go to the house of God instead of going there. You go there for for blessing. You don't go there for curse. 
You don't go there. I told you recently, it was on the social media, it's true. A lady who went to one of the prophets, he said it was a prophet in official for a, a, a child. And very sad. You say you are going to a church, and I every day tell you, the moment you go and you find their ways, my brother, my sister, run away. Begin to run away. Run away for, for your soul. Deliver your soul from their hands. Test their messages. That is why the Bible says we should test them. And so by knowing their ways, you have to begin to run away. We want to preach to you. We want to tell you that as a child of God, as a Christian, go to a place that your soul will be nourished through the word of God. A place where you can find your way to heaven. Because our end is what determines. The Bible says the beginning of a matter is not better than the end. The end is better than the beginning. It is where you are going to end. And your end should be heaven. And so whatever you are receiving now, is it leading you to heaven? The message that you are receiving, the word of God, your life, is it leading you to, the, to heaven? And this is my prayer for you. Because it is not what you want. It is not what, you, what, what somebody says. It is what the word of God says. Jesus said, I am coming. He's coming. It's so near. Somebody say, say, they will say, oh, for the world was created many years ago. But yet Jesus has not come. A child of God, listen to me. The Bible says a day is a thousand years. And a thousand years is a day. And so no one knows the day that our Jesus will come. But the Bible says he will come like a thief. It is hidden from everybody's sight. Yes, though he may tell it beyond our generation, Though he may tarry beyond our time. Though he may tarry beyond. But he will not tarry beyond his own time. God has a time that he will come. Everything on earth is temporary. My brother, my sister, look at the world. Look at the things that are going on. A child of God will descend and know that we are in a dangerous time. And Jesus Christ said, he said it, that in these last days, test every spirit. Test every spirit. Not all of them of God. Not every spirit is of God. And the sad aspect of this is that the God of this earth has blind many people's mind. The devil, because of our pain, because of our trouble, they walk from one place to another, seek the right spirit, and be under. I was telling the people of God yesterday on our prayer line, I told them that nobody can pray better for you than, than you pray for yourself. You know the reason why. I thank God that the prayer of intercession is very good. Prayer of intercession is very good. But be on, let me be honest to you. No man of God can pray better for you than you pray yourself. Somebody say, why? Because listen, the man of God will, will, will pray, pray for you by the things that you tell him. Pray, oh, pray for me this. Pray for me this. This is my problem. Yes, it is good. But if you are going to God, you know yourself. You have a first hand information. You know your problem. And so you can perfectly lay it before God and plead it yourself. Do you know Hannah pleaded and told God? The Bible says the man of God was sitting down thinking Hannah was drunk. Thinking that Hannah was in our, uh, our days. Women, some of the women who don't have any godliness in them and fear. And so early in the morning Hannah was drunk and came before the presence of God. Hannah said, your, your daughter is not drunk, but was pouring her heart. A child of God, learn how to pray. Learn, I every day tells my listeners and the church that everybody knows that prayer works. But how many Christians will do it? Make a quality time for yourself. Make a quality time for yourself. It is no much. Let it begin. Always give about three minutes. Give five minutes quality time to God. The whole 24 hours, you can give it. I every day says, I, I tell people, I don't want to stay on the phone more than the time I will pray. I don't want to stay on the phone with anybody. Because I have, I have said within myself, like Daniel, I have to go before God and bring his presence. Because without the spirit of God, you cannot go to heaven. Jesus said, we have to beware. Be careful. There are many people when they hear this, they will get angry. My brother, my sister, don't get angry with us. 
We are just telling you what Jesus said. And we are also cautious of it. Because if, you see, I told you a story. We were holding a program. Myself and my twin brother. We were holding a program over here in Houston. And a prophet, there were a lot of prophets. There were prophets over there. And one Ghanaian, handsome guy, walked to myself and my twin brother and said, I want you guys to help me. Then we asked him, what is your problem? The man said, I am a witch. A young, very handsome guy. My brother, my sister, <laughs> if, if God is opening your eyes to see some of the women and the girls and the boys that you walk with, you run away. The day God began to open my eyes, I, I always tell them in Houston, there are some of them, they come to me and confess to me. Some ladies and some men, they come to me and confess to me. Whilst others are insulting us because they know that we have known them. And this guy came to us and told myself and my twin brother, every woman that he sleeps with, he destroys his life. He destroyed their lives. And very handsome, tall and handsome. And this is the man every woman, every young woman wants to marry. And I told, we told him that let's go and tell the prophets to pray for him. He said, no, no, don't go. They don't, we, we are all the same. They are all the same. Immediately I, I stepped in here and saw that they are not of God. I was shocked. I said, are you sure? These men, prophets that were standing there, they are using the name of Jesus. They are, they are using. And he said, don't, 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 don't. I want you, you guys, because when I came to the church, when immediately I sat down at the program, <laughs> the prayers that people have been praying, it's you and your brother. Your prayers hit me. And I cannot stand. And I have to come and confess to you. My brother, my sister, test every spirit. When you say this, the people will say, oh, you said this. My brother, my sister, a child of God. I, every day tells you, you, you sit down. And some people don't understand why I say you sit down. And give excuses. Because Balak, Balaam, God told Balaam not to curse Israel. But Balaam, because of money, because of gains, Balak decided, no way, I will go and destroy them. I will go and destroy them. I will go and destroy them. Because he, was, he has been promised money. Hey, there are many men and women of God that are, are working because of what they, they will gain. They are working because of gains. And that is why the Bible says we should test our spirit. Let me go back and I will read John, 1 John chapter 1 John chapter 4 and the verse 1. And hear it again. He said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits what wherever they are of God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. They have gone out into the world. I am not telling you. That this prophet is a false prophet. I am, but I am telling you, be careful. Watch them. Watch their ways. I told, I told, I told, I told the church. I went to preach in a Presbyterian church and a assembly of God church. I told them. I told them. You see, when we were growing, none of this church, Methodist, John Wesley's church, none of this church, you go and you find them praying. I am not saying anointing oil is no good. Anointing oil is, is good. But before a man of God prays, if you don't get anointed, he cannot pray. They cannot pray. I told them, John Wesley Church, when John Wesley was kneeling and was praying, I have read a lot about this man, how he loved the Lord. Go to the Presbyterian Church. They have adopted the charismatic way. The way they think that when you do that, people will come to the church and people, people want signs. People do want signs. And so that, that's what everybody is doing. I will not do that. I went to a place, they offered me, and I said, put it down. We have made people to trust the bottle more than the Spirit of God. The devil is a liar. That is why the Bible says, test every spirit. Test every spirit. Test every spirit. Most of the pastors cannot pray. <laughs> because if they lay their hands on you and they begin to stretch forth their hands, the person who is praying will not believe. You know the reason why. In Africans, we always want a sign. Yesterday, I was talking to a woman and I was asking her, when we were growing in Ghana, if you go to the hospital and they don't give you injection, 
I remember one of the days my father took us to the hospital, USD hospital. We came back home and my mother asked, did, did they give them injection? My father says, no. Then my mother said, why did you take them to the hospital? For what? They have to give them injection because all we believe that so long as they give you injection, <laughs> that, then it's right. Perception. We deceive ourselves. And so there are many people who are healed according to one statistical <laughs> thing that they did. The most, most of the medication, the pharmaceutical companies <laughs> don't heal. But people's faith in the med medication because immediately they, you give to them, they have faith that so long as I have cut a, med a medication, that sickness will vanish away. My brother, my sister, believe in the Lord Jesus. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not their ways. Test the spirits. Test the spirit. You see, when you begin to preach this, people will get angry with you. And people will say it's all sorts of things. But I always thank God. I always thank God. You see, me, before I bring a, a topic out to pre preach, I don't, I don't just stand up. I, have, I, I was praying the whole weekend. I said, God, I don't have a message to preach. I was sleeping down in a trance. I heard a voice. Beware, beware. Go and speak to my people. And the few that have ears, let them hear. The few that have ears. We know that the truth, no, not many people, nobody want to hear the truth. Nobody want to hear the truth. But my prayer is that you be careful. Be careful. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. Don't look at the people that are following and fighting for them. Because some of them have been deceived. Some of them, they, they have been deceived. And my prayer is that, you know, the fruit they bear. The fruit they bear, they are worse. They are worse. Again, if you go to a man of God, and this man of God begin to give you a direction. The same direction as well as you have gone to the shrine. Oh, a child of God. A child of God. And the Bible says that he was given a name. At the mention of that name, every knee bow. Have you forgotten that they overcame him by the blood of the lamp? I every day tell the church, two weapons that God has given to man to win is the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. Through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. Go into the Bible. You see, on the day of Pentecost, after these disciples received the Holy Ghost, the Bible said they went. After that, Peter and John, Peter and John, the Bible said they were going to the, the temple, a cripple that has been in the temple, before the temple many years. Oh Lord, give us that Spirit. Give us your Holy Spirit. Empower us. Help us to know you and know you more. Our generation is perishing. The churches are dying. Whilst you have many men go to Ghana, we have more pastors and prophets than medical doctors and teachers combined. We have church buildings than, than church buildings than, than schools. But why? The country continue to go backwards and backwards and backwards. Where, what are these prophets doing? What are these men of God doing? They are, they are working for God. They are not working with God. There are few that work with God. Few they work with God. If you are working with God, you do what God tells you. If you are working for Him, you are always there. What you what you came. And so people will see that He's a man of God. I fear to tell you. Test them. In Second Peter two verse one, He said, "Many false teachers have gone out, as they were. They have gone out into the world, and they are making gains." My brother, my sister. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. Begin. Listen to their messages. And be careful of yourself. I have had messages. One of the days, I remember, on the radio, a woman called me. A woman called me. And called me. Listen to this. A woman called me and told me, what's of all? I've been dying within. My family has been destroyed. My life is, 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 is on the verge of destroying Everything about me is destroying. I say, why? He said, he, she went to a prophet. She mentioned that name. And the prophet gave her anointing oil. Anointing oil. And because the husband has started a lifestyle. And so, 
This one was praying that the, the husband would, would stay home. My brother, my sister, again, all I encourage you, a child of God, tarry, tarry in your room. Matthew 6 verses say, Well, if you want to pray, enter your room, close your door, and begin to call on the God who created heaven and earth, and the God that sees you in your closet will bless you openly. I encourage my, 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 my church, don't trust in any, any man of God, trust in God. No way in the Bible, the Bible told us to look unto any man of God. I am not saying don't reverence them, respect them, give them the honor, but don't, don't trust them. Don't lean your heart on them. The Bible says we should trust God. We should not lean on our own understanding. In all our ways, we should acknowledge Him. That the Lord will direct our paths. And this man gave her an oil to be used at her private part. And she went and robbed the anointing oil at her private part. This woman said she slept in the night around 2 a.m. She had a dream. A big cobra was entering her in the dream she saw it a cobra entered her, her private part in the dream my brother my sister if people are coming out to tell you what they have gone through some have died some of them they killed them do you remember Manasseh said some of them even killed 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 they killed pregnant women some of them some of them you see you go there and you see they don't have any, any, they don't have anything. They don't have any job. All they have is a church. But you look, you look up at the things that they are doing, you know where they are coming from. Yes, sir, a child of God cannot descend. A child of God cannot descend. Nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear the truth. People are happy. People want you to tell them what they want to hear. People want you to tell them what will inspire their soul. And so many are heading to the fire. Many, many are heading to the train. My brother, my sister, the Bible says that uh, that uh, every good tree bring forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. The one watch it. Many of them, 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 of them, many 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 of <laughs> yesterday early in the morning the dream that god gave to me i was in ghana with my twin brother and we were at the program we were about 60 men of god lined up six about 60 of them there were more and i tried to shake their hands only about four or five of them were ready all of them turned their backs all of them were turning their backs i bowed down when i in the dream then the lord told me Beware, I told you to beware. They are very dangerous. They are very dangerous. That is why when you go to Ghana, the country is sinking. Churches are sinking. <laughs> and, and we have men and women of God that are preaching. You find some and says, And you see them. You see their attitude. You see them. And yes, still, you follow them and listen to them. Yes, you cannot descend. You leave your church. Matter this. You leave your church. Praise me. You leave your church. Pentecost. You leave your churches. Assemblies of God. Apostolics. And you leave these churches and begin to run after their churches. What do you call? What do you call? What do you call? You go. My prayer is that somebody will begin to descend. Wait on the Lord. Be patient with God. The Bible says, be still and know that I am the Lord. Be still. Be still and know that he is God. I am talking about beware. Jesus said beware. Many times, seven times. In the Bible, he said beware. And in some places, he said, take it. Take it. Meaning that be cautious of yourself. Take it or beware. And my prayer is that you be and understand that we are in a generation that the devil is working faster. He wants to destroy. He wants to destroy. My prayer is that you begin. I was, I was looking, I was looking, and I was, I was, I was laughing. A, a, a post up, evangelist bright sent out the church in England that have been turned to a club, and I, I was reading the, the comments. I was reading the comments, and how people were happy, 
And the churches are this, the churches are evil, and now it's using for a good thing, everything. My brother, my sister, go and read it. Let me go and read again. I'll, let me read Second Timothy. I'll read Second Timothy. And I'll read the second Timothy 3. And let me read verse 4. And hear what the Bible says. Verse 4. He says that the verse, last verse, he said, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God in our generation. He said, in, in the end time, we have people that are lovers of pleasure. Lovers of pleasure. Go into the church. I every day tells you, go into the church. Go into the church. Pastors will be sitting down. And they will be playing all kinds of music. The, 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 the world is wise. You will not go to club. You will not go to uh, worldly programs. And you hear them playing gospel music. Ah, under their foot. What are they doing? Very sad. That is why the Bible says we should test our spirits. We have many pastors they are working for god they are not working with god they cannot because they don't have the right spirit to humble themselves and listen to god and do the will of god do the will of god my prayer is that you are, how do, do you judge you see these days one of the scriptures that, that that the devil has given to many men who are you to judge me if you are telling them the right thing say you are judging you are judging them you are judging them. I am telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. If the Bible says that we should tell them, we should preach, go and preach. Preach about repentance. Preach that their perfect ways, their ways are not right. Their ways are not right. There are few, few, few true prophets. In Ghana, we have just a handful. All those that you hear them, they're making noise. They are evil. They are evil. They don't have anything. But look at the, the world that they, they, they show. Then you understand. They will understand. If a prophet who says a prophet can poison somebody because of, 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 of the gold and kill the person. If, if they have been doing that, they are killing, they are destroying lives. They are destroying lives. Yes, sir. You clap for them and begin to watch them. They are always fighting. They are always insulting. If a prophet who says that he's a nation prophet can go and destroy uh, because somebody somebody says something about you and destroy everything, be careful of them. Who can say you will be one more? Hey, you will be one more. Who do you dare? And the people can say kind. And I thank God. I thank God. I every day thank God for His Spirit. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. When you humble yourself, the Bible says God will lift you up. They don't have good spirits. They are sorcerers. Most of them, they started very good. And they have ended very bad because of money. Because of their greed. Because they want to make the whole world. But the Bible says, what shall a man gain? After you gain the whole world, it loses your life. Balak, called Balak, God told him, you cannot curse somebody that I have blessed. Yes, the Balak wants to go. Even the donkey, his donkey also even spoke. How can a donkey speak? Yes, the God called the donkey to speak because an angel of the Lord was standing there to prevent them. Yes, they want to go that way. And yet, why? Because they have perfected the gospel and their force. Jesus said, Beware. They come in wolf. They come like sheep. But they, within them, they are wolf. They are very eloquent. They mention the name of Jesus. They do everything that you think that, oh, they are of God. But secretly, they are not of God. Most of them are occultic. They are all in the same society. They are same. They are all in the same group. They are all. Look at their fruits and look at their works. It is contrary to the word of God. My prayer is that you descend and know and run away from it. May the Lord bless you. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. Prayer works. Before we pray, the Bible says that he came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The reason why Jesus came on this earth, that you have a word. Through him you go to heaven. The sad thing that many people will come to the gate of heaven and find surprises. Jesus said, not all, everybody that said, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God, but they that do the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father? That is what you have to go into the Bible and find the will of the Father. <laughs> that you walk in righteousness. 
Because the Bible says with that, it says without holiness, no one can see God. Blessed are pure in heart, for they shall see God. And so entry into the heaven is through the Holy Spirit and through the, the baptism. The baptism, the water is being baptized, showing and signifying that you have died and resurrected with Christ. But one thing that will lead you is the Holy Spirit. As many that are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Come to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Live a righteous life. And this is our message every day. Live a righteous life. And we know that not everybody wants to, to listen. Because many people, <laughs> the world has already taken them. And they are ready. They are on their way. But my prayer is that the mercy of God will locate them. That you turn to Jesus Christ. And you find the right way. Because whether you like it or not, this world will come to an end. I every day ask you, tell me a man who is so powerful, so rich. All of their, their, their theories and their heresies and their, their, the things that they say. Tell me one man who is so powerful. That will tell me, I will never die, I will never grow. I will, I will never. Some things in life you cannot do anything about it except God. Except God himself. And so, come to Jesus. Live for him. That one day when he comes in his glory, you'll be part of the when you say this i remember i said this somebody asked me are you crazy i said yes i am crazy the reason why i'm crazy is that i have met jesus i have met jesus <laughs> so i am crazy for him i am crazy for him because when, <laughs> gone are the days that we did not know we were going to church we were laughing at people we mock at them and through my pains and my struggle i have encountered jesus christ in my jail cell I encounter Jesus. Say, go and preach my word. Speak the truth. Anytime I try to preach anything, then the Spirit of God will tell me, remember what I told you. Remember what I told you. I told you to go and preach my gospel. Speak my word to them. Bring them. Not many will listen to you, but the few that will listen to you, I will lead them to me. And so, come to Jesus. May the Lord bless you for your good heart. And let's hold our hands. And worship God in spirit and truth. Do the right thing. As a child of God, as a Christian, don't sit down and, and fold your hands and think that if you fold your hands, you, you'll be poor. You'll be poor. The world understands the world, the law of life. Jesus, God said, subdue the earth. The, the world understands. Christians don't understand. And so don't let a, a man of God deceive you. Bring everything you have. I remember a man of God came in Houston and told the nurses in Niger uh, the Nigerians prophesied to them and some, some people tell them and some people were giving ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars i was looking at them i said you see they, these men they are very evil they are very evil they'll get all your money and they'll make you broke and the sad aspect of it is that some of the women that pay these money they are all their homes have been destroyed their homes their marriages and their lives their jobs a Ghanaian woman suffered the same thing. <laughs> they almost destroy everything about her until they suck you dry before they will leave you. We are not here to destroy anybody. We are here to preach the gospel of truth. Say this, Lord Jesus, today I. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. He always says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past and everything becomes new. As I've accepted you and everything has become new, may you order my steps until you come or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name, say amen. God bless you for saying this. Find a church. Find a church. There are many people there in good churches very sad in our end time generation all the good churches are turning into the charismatic churches way of life some of them are practicing the false life and it is destroying their churches and they are all living because if you do the same thing and they, these prophets are doing the same thing they will leave and some of them will even go and call them to come and do programs for them because of money they heaven forbid i thank god I, I thank God for the little that God has blessed me with. <laughs> my, uh, my, my twin brother on my side and me on his side doing the work of God. We thank God. We thank God. The little that God has given to us, we, we, we will use it to bless God. 
And so go to a place that you find salvation. Don't go to, don't, don't follow them. I, every day tell I me mean, these days I fear men of God. I fear them. I fear them than going to work and see my own my own uh, uh, co-workers. I fear them. Miss Rock, I mean I saw for Miss Rome time. Miss Rome time. Miss Rome. There are good ones. There are very, very good ones. Very, very good ones. Very, very good ones. They are very, very good ones. Who have the heart of God and who are doing the work of God. Because when you meet them, they will become a blessing into your life. Oh, yes, you did. God bless you. Begin to thank God. Let's thank God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank God. The Bible says the word of God cometh not in vain, but to fulfill a purpose. Open your mouth and thank God with us. Bless the name of the Lord. Just thank God. Say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. Raka de bondaraba zebranda. In sanderebo roka de banerebo zabraka. In papanderebo ranti karaba. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Just bless his name. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Thank him. Thank God. Father, we bless you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Raka de Bondaraba. Eta Bandere Borokaraba. We bless you. Father, we thank you. Lord, I give you all the is Ronte Karaba Rasinde Rebo Rokodoba. Mantaraba Roka de Bandere Borosindi Rebe. Father, we thank you. We bless you. In the name of Jesus. Let's go before God. Maybe mistakenly you went to a place. You went to a man of God and by praying for you, by laying hands on you, not every hand. I remember one of them laid hands on me and from that time, my family was destroyed. They are very wicked. They are evil. They are evil. <laughs> it is my prayer. It is my prayer. It is my prayer. If a man of God will kill somebody and bury the person secretly and stand on and do ministry, hey, oh, oh. And when we say this, you will never believe. They did themselves, they themselves come out. They come out and, and they'll be fighting among themselves. And people say, oh, they hate them. They hate, they hate themselves, Africans. Because the person is doing good. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we are praying. They are very evil. Many people go to Ghana. And these days, you open the TV. You see, everywhere people are being killed. The Bible says people will be selfish lovers, the covetousness lovers them, of themselves. They don't think about that life. They think about what they want to get. They think about what they want to get. They don't think about the life that they destroy. They kill somebody's child. They kill somebody's wife. They kill somebody's husband. They kill somebody's son for their own gains. Yes, still, my prayer is that you know them. They are very wicked. Don't look at their face and how eloquent they are. Don't look at the number of people that follows them. <laughs> the Bible says that many let me read the scripture again and we'll, we'll pray. Second Peter two and the verse two. We are going to pray again. Second Peter two and the verse two. Let me two it says that verse two it says, and many shall follow their perversious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Many. No, the Bible did not say few, many. Somebody have laid a hand, a wrong hand on you, and it's affecting your life, and you don't say, let the Lord begin to take the hand. Let God, the Bible says, blotting out every handwriting of God that was against us, taking it out of the way, and nailing it to the cross. Let God take everything. Maybe somebody gave you anointing oil. He says that, that the woman that was given anointing oil to be robbed at her private part, she realized that snake, snake has entered her. And she has been dealing with it the rest of her life. Some of them, their spirit have been stolen away. Some of them, their marriages. Some of them, their womb. Some of them, their children. Some of them, their, their home has been taken away from them. Some of them, their destiny has been taken forever. We are praying in the name of Jesus that every hand, every oil, every direction that is not of God, that you find yourself in, may the Lord deliver you. 
May the Lord lift up his holy hands. May the Lord break you free. May the Lord set you free in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray with us. Pray that God, if any hand that is not of you, God, if any spirit, any direction that I found myself in, if any demonic shrine, <laughs> if I've gone to any church that is a demonic shrine, the hope of which is a wizard, that they have sold my spirit, have sold my destiny. I pray in the name of Jesus. Be a one another. Bombay, maybe you have sold uh, your destiny, you have sold your family, you have sold your life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Zapandere Boroka Diba, Epandara Boroka Diba, Epandoro Borosi Dereba, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, open your mouth and pray. Every demonic hand, every hand that is not of God, every demonic hand, we pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Out of Bombay, Katre, who said, Every day, it is fighting your destiny, it's fighting your spiritual life, it is fighting your Christian life. It has become a stake in your in your eye, it has become a torn in your flesh, it is tearing you apart. May Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Spirit of God, Father, we pray. We pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name. Of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, run take out of the Briadaba, run the Carabandere Borokadaba, Father, in the name of Jesus, somebody open your mouth, every demonic hand that has been laid on you, every demonic direction that has been given unto you, every serpentine direction, every sorcerer spirit, every demonic spirit, every shrine spirit, every demonic spirit. We pray the Bible say we rest not against flesh and blood, against principalities. Father, we stand in your garden. We pray for your children. Roka di bandere boroka bande is a brandere boroka di ba. Ronti kara da bandere boroka di ba. E panda zibranda ba roka di bada. Rande de boroka di bandere boroka bande zibranda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pray with us. Pray with us. Pray with us. Open your mouth and pray with us. Pray that Lord, if there is any spirit, every hand that have been sown in my life, we pray, we pray for deliverance. Holy Ghost, enter into our lives, enter into our ministry, enter into our destiny, enter into our family. Every demonic hand that have been laid over our lives, we pray, we break it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. What of our Pompey be one of Catra Radi Serate, a dear Pierre Quatre Pierre, Ronte Carabandere Boroca de Baha, a Pantarabarica de Bandere Boroca, a Tatarabandi Branda Zodoro Borica de Baha, a Candoro Borontica, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Father, we pray. We pray for you. But we pray. Run to God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, follow me. Holy Ghost, fire, fire, follow me. At the day of Pentecost, fire, follow me. We are praying the Holy Ghost fire. The Bible says in Deuteronomy twelve twenty eight that the Lord is a consuming fire. Deuteronomy 15 verse 3, the Bible says he's a consuming fire. We pray that he will consume every demonic seed, everything that has been sown by the enemy into your life, every demonic pain. Like the woman that went and came back home and his family was destroyed. There are many, many homes that have been destroyed, many lives that have been destroyed, many destiny, many good destinies that have been destroyed. There are some people that their homes have been stolen. There are some people, unfortunate one, they have even died. Very sad. We are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that every demonic seed that the, the enemy has sown in your life, let the Holy Ghost uproot it. Um, let Holy Ghost uproot it for you. And bring, the Bible says, Jesus said, 
For the Spirit of God is upon me. I have been anointed to preach the gospel. To deliver the captives. There are many people in demonic captivity. They are in demonic captivity. And also there are some that have been placed in demonic prisons. We are praying for you. Every seed that is tearing your life apart. May God arise. May your Jesus, the one who created heaven and earth, may Jesus answer you. May he answer you. May he. <laughs> there is a song in our language. That's God's Jesus. You cannot fight it with yourself. Uh, but for yourself, ask God. Let's pray and ask God. Open your mouth and say, God, help me, Jesus. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Every seed, knowingly or knowingly, the one that I hate, that is fighting my life, that is fighting my Christian life, that is fighting my life abroad. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, help me. I pray the Holy Ghost, consume it. You are the God that answers by fire. Answer me with the Holy Ghost fire. Consume every unwanted seed, unwanted in my life that is destroying me, that is tearing me apart, that is delaying every promise of you, God, over my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rante Corona Briadaba, in Tanaboro Candiba de Reboro Caraba, Fata in the name of Jesus. Opio Mafe Pre Pre Rante Cadobora Cadiba, Yeshumoja, 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 Kahum be anima, Yeshumoja, Kabaito be anima, Yeshumoja, Kautafu be anima, Yeshumoja, Kaumanima, Ronte Caraba, Roban de Reboro Cadaba Zebranda, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray with us. Run the God of Borakabande. It can tarabara boje kabranda zendere me de briada ba. It can toro boronti kabande re borokada ba. It bandara boronti kabo. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray. Call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus, 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 call the name of Jesus. Rate con Roboraka Bandereba, a cantorobo rampa, this in the rebe, in the name of Jesus. Every demonic seed, every demonic plantation in your life, let the Holy Ghost have protected, a ready to do, a dear Pira, what do you go to a woman, a dear Pira, what do you show on Russia? That we pray for them, we pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray with us. We are praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Raka da bonariba zibrandaraba. E canto robo raka de bonaraba. In the name of Jesus, Ibande Rebo Roca de Ba. Father, in your name we pray. Run the carabane rebo rokaraba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. E cantaraba branda zundo robo rokaraba. Pray that God Holy Ghost uproot every demonic seed. Everyone want to seed, every seed that is not of you, God. Ready to do. A deep bear is see when you are going Everything that is preventing your blessing in my life. Everything that is preventing your word, spoken word in my life. Everything that is preventing your ordained blessing in my life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Pray against every unseen force that fight against your life. Unseen force that fight against your destiny. Unseen force that fight against your family. Father, I pray every spirit that rests with our lives, every spirit that rests with my destiny, my ministry, with your people, whether it's coming from our families, whether it's coming from friends, whether it's coming from our neighborhood, Holy Ghost Christ, them, Yeshua Jangamani Mo, Yeshua John of Pompey, pray that Father, every unseen force that fight me, everywhere they are hiding, hey, let the Holy Ghost fire strike them, let the tender of God strike them, 
e canto robo rakindi kandere moroka de ba rinti kana moroka bandi zibra in the name of Jesus 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 rinti kana bandere moroka da ba e pantara bande riada bunda zibra da ba robo bomba e opio ma fe pre rante kano do moroka dere moroka de ba rante kana boche kapranda zendere me rika da ba branda zono robo rika da ba ara fo bomba e opio ma fe pre pre o das rante kana bo rika bandere bo rante kana ba e banda da ba branda zendere me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus be one of my catcher already every place every that the soul of your feet treaded upon that was not a holy ground that has bring the nation that has bring destruction in your life we pray that the lord will come in the holy cause will come here and cleanse you and give you rika da bonda priya da banda sondoromo e kandoromo raka bede e bandere boronti karaba in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we want to pray with you maybe you have a prayer request that you have laid before God. You want God to answer your prayer. Every day, that is my prayer. The reason why most Christians are hopping from places to places, the thing that God has delayed in answering their prayer, the thing that God is too slow in answering their prayer. My brother, my sister, the Bible says he made things beautiful in his time. Why I pray with you that God should lift up his hand the Bible says two will agree on it, standing together. You present your heart desire before God, and I stand with you. We pray that God answer your people, Raditi, Mama, and Wati, especially those uh, people who are listening to us, following our ministry, people who, that you have given to us. You promise us that Father, you bless the people, you bless them that follows our ministry, you show them the right. It's Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, we depend on you. Holy Spirit, we have no power of our own. We depend on you, Holy Spirit. We depend on you, Jesus Christ. Let your blood work in their favor. We break every danger. Father, give them a, a, a miracle. Open every door unto them. Let your people see that they serve you a living God. Father, we pray. Pray with me. Let's agree in prayer. Let's stand together in prayer and pray for your needs, every heart desire. Father, we stand together in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I present a woman before you. I present a man before you. Oh God, you are the God that answer. Answer your people. Look into their lives. Look into their homes. Their heart desire. It is your word that says in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 that we should come to you. All that labors and are heavy laden. And you will give us rest. Your people have come with their burdens. But may you take that burden and give them rest. Answer them. Oh Jesus, answer them. It is your word that you say we should ask and it shall be given. I ask on behalf of your people. I ask, let your people receive. Your word says that if we ask anything in your name, then I ask for them in the name of Jesus. Those who are praying for the fruit of the womb. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. You gave it to Hannah. You gave it to Mary. You did it for Elizabeth. You did it for Rebecca. Oh Father, you did it for them. And so I pray. Every woman that is praying for her, Father, I touch it. Let your Holy Spirit touch it. In the name of Jesus, that will receive those who are praying for healing, 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 healing. Every soul, every soul that has been tormented with sickness, I pray in the name of Jesus. Your words are by your strength. Your people are healed. And so I pray for them. I pray in divine healing, Holy Ghost healing. Holy Ghost healing on the day of because Father, you pour, pour over your people and bring healing. I come against spirit of cancer. I come against spirit of diabetes. I come against spirit of stroke. I come against spirit of HIV. I come against every deadly sickness in the blood. I pray your people into their promise in the name of Jesus. Also, Lord, I pray. I bring homes that the enemy is destroying. I pray against every
every demonic spirit that destroyed marriages, uh, that are holding people's marriage, uh, they are holding their partners. Uh, we pray, we stand together. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Holy Ghost, uh, strike that enemy, strike that enemy. They that sleep with your people, their dreams, uh, his familiar spirit, spiritual husband and spiritual wife, uh, receive fire, Holy Ghost fire, receive Holy Ghost fire, receive Holy Ghost fire, 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 fire. fire. You that destroy marriages. Do the enter churches and destroy her for people to know the church is cold. We break here. Yes, my young girl anymore. Oh, be a good deal. Be a warrior. And a pay a radia. A year radia. And a jibe. Be a more. Be a money. Be a round. Yes, my young Yes, my young girl anymore. 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 Somebody pray. Di kanto ro mo rakaba. E bandara mo roka di bandere mo ronsi di di be. E papa dere mo roka di ba. Somebody pray, 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 pray that God lift up your hands, your mighty hands. In the name of Jesus, e bandere mo roka di ba. Inte de kanto ro mo rika di ba. Father, we pray for children. We pray for children. We pray for children. Every child that the enemy wants to destroy their life, we command the blood of Jesus to be a permanent wall of fire. We break their spirit from them. We break their soul from them. We pray your Holy Ghost over their lives. We pray. Father, give your children a testimony. Give them a testimony. Let this man, this sister, be a testimony in their lives. Let your people testify that it is you, God, that have Man, them see you. Uh, this you God that have spoken in their lives. Speak in their lives. Speak, oh Jesus, speak and let every testimony. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. May every word of God come to pass in the name of Jesus. Again, beware, be careful. Jesus said it. He said it. We should be careful. We should beware of these men. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. Be careful. Be careful where you go. Be careful where you take your blessing. Be careful who you call your spiritual father. Be careful. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. May the Lord cause his word to come to you. People will know when you see you. Everybody knows who is there. And God work a miracle. In pipe, but my own day be a runner. Everybody knows it. It will use Christ to them. May the Lord bless you. If you come, please share for us. Share. There are most people that they don't want to share. The world are very good to their own people. They share their messages. But the Christians, nobody want to share. Nobody want to listen. But we know that it's those who belong to them. God bless you. Again, woman of God, <laughs> my man, uh, sister Amma, Kuradu, Bedu Lenzi, Nyamin Shirao, and so God bless you for being supportive and listening to our messages every day. I mean, we intercede and we pray for you. We thank you and we, we respect you. Not everybody will do that. Again, our wife, Amen. Joseph Mbeche Kratin, God bless you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you everywhere. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Bye bye. As of Steve Grant Jr., my brother, I love you. God bless you.